Hey guys, we're back with another segment of Classroom Chatter. And today we're going to see a special classroom and see what they're up to. Well, let's stop flopping about and let's get to it. Let's spin the wheel. And it's 2B. Let's go see what they're up to. Hey guys, we're at 2B's classroom now. Let's go have a look at what they're doing. Hey girls, so what are you guys playing right now? Uh, we're playing Greedy Pig. And Greedy you have Pig? To get, you have to get as many as you, have, as you can and you have to roll the dice and then um, you have to collect it and everyone has to collect the um, amount. Yeah. And then put it in your bucket and then you just flip it over when you're going out. And you have to wait until everyone else goes out. And if we get a six, then we have to get rid of all these that we haven't tipped over. Oh, yeah, that sounds fun. Do you like this game? Yes. Yeah. All right. What's your perspective on this game? Do you really do you really like it? Or Yes. Yeah. What do you like most about it? The most thing I like about it is um, how you connect the blocks together and add them all up and see who's the winner. That must be fun. Um, is it certain, um, possible or unlikely that you will roll a six? I think it's certain. Certain that you roll a six? What's the chances of actually rolling a six? Because there's six sides on a dice, so... You could roll a one, two, three or five, and six, and yeah. Oh, yeah. That sounds fun. All right. Do you like this game? Um, yeah, it's quite fun. Yeah. What do you like most about it? I like that that you get to like collect these. Yeah. Do you like counting them all up at the end? Yeah. Yeah. How do you count them up? Do you count them by twos, threes? Twos. Twos, yeah. Is that the easiest way? Yeah. Yeah. So what's your name? My name is Ash. That's cool. And what have you been working on? Uh, we've been working on um, possible, possible certain likely and unlikely. So when you do do this, you can, it's like eight chances. You can have a chance to pull out eight, which um, unithics out of the jar, and then we write it down and write what it could do, or like what's certain, what could happen, or what's unlikely. And how long have you been working on this? Um, two days. Wow. Are you good at it? Yes. That's good. What colour do you have more of? Um, I have more yellow and orange. I have the least of red. Wow. So have you got to pull one out of the jar? Which colour do you reckon you pull out? Um, yellow or orange because it's more likely to pull out your yellow or orange because there's more yellow or orange than red. That's good thinking. So we're going to go to the next person. And what's your name? Xander. That's a good name. And what have you been working on? Um, we've been working on chairs. Really? What colours do you have more of? Black. And if you got to pull one out, which colour do you reckon you'd get? I'd probably get black. What's your name? Nicholas. Wow, that's such a good name. And what have you been working on? Um, I've been working on this um, thing with a jar and you can you have to have three groups of different colours and you have to have 14 in total. I have 12, I have 12 orange and one red and one yellow. Wow, that was really good explaining. If you got to pick one out of the jar, which colour would you get? Probably orange because it's mostly orange. Okay. Thank you for watching this week's Classroom Chatter and please join us again for next week's. I wonder what class it's going to be.